Hundred percent. I agree with you. Hundred percent. It was sloppy in the second period. Uh, you know, we did not get off to a great start in the first period either. Like I said, it was one of those games, but he found a way to get two points at the end. With, with the way that you guys have, have grinded out some wins in the past, was it nice to see kind of the offense pick everybody up tonight? Yeah, no, we, we, I mean, I think we had 30-some shots and we were putting pucks to the net again. And, you know, a perfect example of, I think they scored two goals in the point and I think uh, Keandre's goal was on the point. So you get some traffic, you shoot some pucks and good things happen. And, you know, there was a wild five minutes in the middle of that second period for sure. Can you just tell us what went into the decision to switch goalies on to the third? Nothing, just a uh, coach's decision. Felt like the team needed a spark in, in that situation? Coach's decision, yeah. No, he was just yelling at the referee. I don't know why he was, you know, he thought there should have been a penalty in the neutral yeah. zone. I'm um, just, you know, so I, I told Mika, you know, there's 0.4 seconds left, the game's over, you know, just leave the referee alone. Panarin tonight, what, what can you say about it? I mean, three assists, I believe, and he could have more than that, it looked like. Yeah, he may. He played really good. He's competing the last, like I said, last four or five games. He's been one of our best players. He's really jumping and making great passes, and uh, I like what I see from him, and uh, he seems to be pretty happy out in the ice. So, uh, no, he was a he was a key key guy for us tonight. Yeah. Kato and Kato, they both seem to be elevating their games a little bit more consistently. Is that what you Definitely, yeah. No, they're both playing well. I mean, uh, Hedl had a couple of great chances tonight. Obviously, driving the net, and and it's a good thing you're seeing like that redirection where the goalie made an incredible glove save on him. I mean, just go to the net hard, and he's had some chances and. No, I really like the way they're playing and, and their, their game's coming up and that's exactly what we need to be a good team. Do you think it's a function of confidence? Definitely, definitely. I mean, a little more experience, more games, but, uh, you know, Phil was out for a week there. He missed some time and then he came back and he's played really well. So, you know, it's it's confidence. It's it's maturing a little bit and uh, so he, he looks really good. I just thought we were flat, so I, I really, Goody's a good centerman and he, he's good in face-offs and I just wanted to change it to make up for a lineup a little bit, to uh, be honest with you, and I actually like what I saw, so we stayed like that for most of the game. Hunt had a couple of shifts last week, um, up with those two guys, mm. I guess I don't know what we're going to do next game, but I definitely like it. And we, the coaches talked about it. Hunchy's been a good player for us right from the get-go. You know, he's played a, different roles. He's played in the fourth line and played a little bit different role. But I like what he brings. He's got some offensive touch, and he can really shoot a puck. So, you know, it, it could be a possibility for sure. If you had a guess before the game who would score a game-winning goal, where would Brian Lindgren have First. <laughs> No, he, it, I mean, Lindy's a smart hockey player, and he knew the time was running out, so why not go to the net? You know, there's no way they're going to get a chance to get a chance, so it was, it was a great play by him and a smart play by him. Is, is, is it especially rewarding to see a guy like him who does a lot of little things for you guys get rewarded in, in a big moment like that? The guy, yeah, yeah, I mean, he's a, he plays that role, he blocks shots, he does everything for us in, in the, at the back end, and, uh, you know, when he gets a chance to score a big goal like that, it's great for our team. Yeah, I mean, obviously it was more high scoring, I guess, than some of our past games. Um, it's good, I guess, that we're scoring goals bad or giving up goals. Um, find different ways. Every every game's different. It has kind of a different identity. Find a find a way. Tonight, pucks seem to be going in, so get more pucks in that. We had some good offensive chances. Obviously, gave up some more chances than we would have liked, but at the end of the day, we found a way to win the game and you know draw pitchers. It's two points. Ryan's the guy who does a lot of the little things for you guys. I think you only have three career goals coming tonight. So, is, how cool is it for you guys to see him get a moment? Yeah, it's great. I think everybody, I don't think you'll find a guy in that room who doesn't uh, smile probably when you bring up his name. That's uh, the kind of guy he is, the kind of personality he has. Um, I mean, he brings so much more to the team. Um, it seems his face is a little less bloody this year, which is good, but he seems to always be sticking his nose in, in something somewhere. Um, yeah, so it's good to see him get rewarded, and uh, I think everybody's very excited for him, excited for the team, but obviously good to see, see something like that happen for him. Um, yeah, I mean, we talked about, I guess we talked about getting more pucks than that from the blue end. That's not really how two of them went in, I guess. But uh, at the end of the day, you got to get pucks there. And that's kind of how 
how they all end up going in. I guess mine and, and Lindy's kind of pucks word out in front of the net and you got to get bodies there and get traffic. That's how Keys went in. Um, I mean, they had a couple goals the same way. That's that's, a, that's how you score goals in the NHL. I think when it boils down to it, there's a lot of, everybody wants to make the pretty plays, but a goal's a goal and that's how a lot of them go in, in this league. You talked before, Jacob, about your role here isn't, isn't to score points, but you had quite a few in the last handful of games. Is anything happening differently for you? Do you sense any reasoning for that? Um, I don't think so. I think uh, when there's been opportunities early in the year, they, whatever didn't go in or whatever it may be, I don't really measure my game by uh, by goals and assists and points. Um, that's not really the impact I bring most nights when you can add offensively. It's obviously always great and helps the team win games. Ryan, what a thrilling finish for you personally and for your team. Take me through what you saw and what was your first NHL game winner? Yeah, um, you know, obviously the puck was down in the corner for a while. Uh, I think Krides was in there uh, battling, and um, you know, you see the clock kind of go down, and um, you know, when it hit five or four seconds, you just keep getting further and further. And uh, I got kicked out to Fox. You hit Mika, and who made a great uh, pass to me back door. What went into the mental approach there, just in the final moments? You know, you think maybe you're heading into overtime, but instead you decide to keep your foot on the gas and try to get that final goal. Yeah, I think that was key. Uh, I thought that whole third period, for the most part, um, you know, we were kind of all over them. Um, you know, we weren't backing off, and um, you know, like you said, playing for overtime, we wanted to try to try to end it and um, try to play smart and and win the game. So um, I thought it was a great effort by us. You continue to find ways to win, all different ways to win. This team seems to be finding. Did you feel like you took another step forward as a group tonight? Just the way you responded, like you mentioned in the third period, and and able to close it out. Yeah, for sure. Um, obviously, the first two periods. Uh, we're a little sloppy, um, definitely not the way um, you know we want to play, especially in the D zone. But um, you know, the third period we definitely played a lot smarter, a lot better. Um, you know, and eventually came away with the win.